So one of the most famous uh, thought experiences experiments is called Schrodinger's cat, a German physicist. It was a strictly thought experiment, but they were arguing about how could you know what some, is happening somewhere without seeing it? And he goes, well, that's exactly right. So he had this model of a cat in a box with some poisoned food. And then you put the lid on it and say, now let's conjecture all you want. Is the cat alive? Did it eat the food? Did it die? Is the cat dead? All these things. And everyone had their formulations of why they could determine before the lid was removed, what you're going to find. And he goes, it's only at the removing of the lid are you going to know. Until then, the cat is both dead and alive. Both probabilities exist. Both probabilities exist. And that's the point I made in where we are right now. And the point that Jesus said, two people in the field, it's like, and I don't use the word, oh, even though my podcast is called Awakening Code Radio, I don't use the past tense version of enlightened or awakened but the person that is on awakening path is going to start living a certain way, seeing certain things, com comprehending this reality a certain way, while the other person is just taking their orders and doing their due diligence and working their ass off and paying their taxes and mortgage and everything else. And it's truly like they're living side by side in two different realities. And that's, and you won't know what side of the reality equation you were on until literally the word apocalypse doesn't mean the thinning of the veils or end of the world. It means in Greek to take the lid off something. Mm -hmm. And so that's where I think we're in a slow roll apocalypse right now, that it is happening all around us. And there are people waking up and going, I see, and this is how I'm going to live once I see and learn more. You never fully see it, all, all of it. Or you just go, no, nope, I'm going to just stay living, taking the blue every day and do what I'm told to do. And I stopped doing that pretty early in my life. And uh, that was the biggest gift is I felt like I kind of saw, I'm not gonna, my parents were both very workaday people, very proud people, very in their own way, materialistic. The, the nicer stuff you had, the more you won the game. That's right. we're kind of the American dream is kind of like, yeah. and I'm like, I'm not doing that. I, I don't need as much stuff. Um, and it's a burden in the end. I've, did live a phase of my life having all the toys. I worked as, as a yacht broker, you know, drove the Corvette and had the fancy boats and the motorhomes and all that stuff. And one by one, as those things went away, I realized I didn't feel sad. And there was almost a little bit of a celebration, have a simpler life. And now I live the most simplest version of my life I've ever lived. And it's the most beautiful. Mm, I love that. I think that's such a, that's such a cool reflection you know to to offer folks is the the material stuff is it really worth it you know is it, or is it just a burden and i agree you know i think i i have a similar opinion about just the shifting in consciousness and that it you know i don't think the rapture is some grand event you know where some people get taken somewhere and some people don't like i think it, it is that it's just this natural evolution that's occurring on earth right now because we have this opportunity you know to right. to, to, to open up to the, you know the consciousness of the universe and 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 that that fundamental structure of reality that we've been kind of disconnected from and 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 you know as I guess I've done you know a lot of work to shift my energy and work with geometry and you know start you know utilizing these these practices the 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 aspect of just experiencing reality really differently than other people it's it's not just a, i think about like being awake it's like the miraculous does start to occur like you're you're living in this flow of synchronicity and support and guidance and like what you've experienced and and that is just a completely different way of operating and and living so it it's yeah. like we're just living together in two different realities on earth <laughs> truly and you know, when you when you think about it, you said both um, ascension and uh, rapture, right. both outward, upward trajectories, and in many ways kind of negating this experience that we're actually in at the moment. And to me, what Christ consciousness actually means is to know those things, but live this to its fullest, this particular experience. And if there was a theme to Jesus' teachings, it says, if you're waiting to know what the heavenly kingdom is all about stop because you're living it right now as here's the as above so below part or as below so above 
as you are living right now, are you living in fear? Are you living in the power of the, your suggestive mind to yourself? 